Hello, my name is Tara, and I work for Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest. In today's Creative Corner video, I will show you how to make scratch-off artwork. Upcycling is the fun process of transforming unused and unneeded items into new materials and items. Here at Vestavia Library, one of the items we often discard are our damaged CDs and audiobooks. In today's project, I will show you how to upcycle a CD by turning it into scratch art and creating unique designs with the reflective, colorful CDs. For this video, you will need the following supplies. Discarded CDs, newspaper, paper towel, water, paintbrushes, toothpicks or tools to scratch with, black acrylic paint, and tape. Optional supplies include the following, a ruler, color acrylic paint, paint markers, string, and stencils. What is scratch art? Scratch art is sometimes called scratch board, which refers to an art technique of using sharp tools or picks to engrave lines onto a board or a piece of foil that has been coated in ink or paint that sometimes has a layer of clay to scratch through as well. As you can see with this piece of scratch paper that I have, you just simply scratch through the top layer, creating your image. You can use a variety of tools to help with scraping the top layer off. In the example that I have here, I use a toothpick, a dental floss picker, a ruler, and even a stencil. Experiment with different items to see what lines they will create. For the first half of this video, I'll be using black acrylic paint, but any color will work. In the second half of this video, I will show the CDs I painted with different colors and the pros and cons I encountered while painting them. To get started with this project, you will take your newspaper and lay it on your table. This will be used to protect your table and to be able to move the CDs around while they are wet. Next, you will take your tape and tear off pieces and roll them up. Place these pieces of tape onto the front of the disc and place it onto your newspaper. You will do this for each disc. By doing this step, your disc will not move around as much while you are painting them. Next, you will take your black acrylic paint and paint your discs. While I was making my CDs, I found it best to paint two coats of paint, making sure to let each layer fully dry before adding the next coat. After your discs have fully dried, you will take a toothpick or a pencil or any tool that you want to use and begin to scratch out the design you want. As you are working, you may need to bear down while scratching to get a clean line. As you can see here with my five examples, I tried a variety of different ideas for my scratch art and with the tools that I had. With the V-shaped design that I have here, I used a ruler to get the clean straight lines while scratching with the toothpick. With the star CD, I used the stencils that I had to create the starry night sky. As I was scratching while using the stencil, I felt I was able to get cleaner lines. With the flower CD, I also used a stencil, but I didn't use it as much. After scratching out the flower in the middle, I realized that the inner circle of the CD doesn't have any reflective material there and shows the yellow that is on the other side. Using my gold paint marker, I added more yellow in the center to fill in this area that I had scratched off for the flower. For this CD with the zebra pattern, I experimented with the different tools that I had to see what lines it would give. Here I used the dental floss picker and scratched wide lines creating these V-shaped swirls in the process.
For this CD, I had looked up images online of different upcycle projects using CDs and found this lovely image. Using my pencil and the dental floss picker that I had, I was able to recreate these leaf shapes. In the second half of this video, I will be using color acrylic paint and also experimenting by painting on the front of the disc so that I can use the artwork that is already on the disc. I will also show you the problems that I encountered while painting these discs and the best way to paint your discs if you use color acrylic paint. To get started, you will repeat the process from before with the first CDs that we painted. Lay your newspaper down and tape your discs to the newspaper. You can paint either side of your disc, but if the front of the disc has an interesting color or design that you want to have appear through your scratch art, you can paint on the front of the disc instead of the back. Next, paint two layers of regular acrylic paint in the color that you have chosen and let each coat dry before adding the next coat. After the paint has dried, you can scratch your designs, incorporating the artwork on the front of the CD. For the mountain CD that I have here, the disc had a lovely rainbow image that I wanted to become a mountain with an aurora above it. I added a row of trees in the front of the mountain, playing with the shapes at the same time. I also used my paint markers to add some extra details. For the rose CD, I created two, one with color and one with black paint. For the sunset CD, I created three again, seeing which disc would give better results. As you can see with this disc, the paint was too thick and I wasn't able to get clean lines. This disc was white and I was able to get a clean, clear image. And the third disc had a blue image on the front, which unfortunately did show through. Next, I want to talk about the problems I encountered while working on my discs. Earlier, the reason why I had mentioned only painting two coats and only using regular acrylic paint was because during my first attempt, I had added four layers of paint. After the discs had dried, the combination of the four layers of paint and the metallic paint made it too thick to scratch through and I wasn't able to use some of these discs. During my second attempt is when I realized the correct steps to follow and that is why I have two to three of some of the discs. Another thing that I want to mention about color paint is paint opacity or how well it will cover with one to two coats of paint. Sometimes acrylic paint can be too watery and you will often have to do several coats in order to get a good color. You can see an example of this with the sunset discs that I created. The disc with the white cover was easier to paint versus the disc with the blue cover. And there you have it. You have created unique upcycled scratch art CDs. I hope you were able to use the techniques featured in today's video for future projects. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day.